Hello and welcome to the final episode of this year's Bakutober 2022. Thank you so much for appreciating this, and I know I've been very, very weak on this year's and not giving more presentation about horror and what fears we should deal with and how we should deal with them, but I hope I got some of that through, and I really wanted to do like a whole um, editorial on what is um, what is the ecosystem within Vistroya and everything, but... I guess I gotta plan much more ahead for that. But without a further ado, let's open the last one. And I think you know what faction we're gonna do for the last one. Alright, so get my trusty knife kniffle here. There we go. Get that done. I'm really... I, I love Halloween every time. Every... I love... Every time. I love Halloween every year. That's what I need to say. Halloween is awesome for everyone, and everyone should do it. And here we go. Here's the last one. Aurelis. Of course. Aurelis. Correctlios. Ultra. And in the last video, I tried to uh, capture... Tried to do that thing on the screen, but the app that I have does not allow that. So, here we go. Let's open this. As per usual, got this. Got that. Don't need that. Do need the cores. Put that over there with the papers. And here we are. Here we have the cores right here. Regular green fist. And a magic shield. Ugh, 500 with that magic shield. And it looks like a plus. It looks like a plus for the shield. Let's see what we got for the shield. Uh, plus one. Eh, it's alright. They're okay. They're okay, markers. And there we are. So now we don't need to hear that crinkle crankle. So, as usual, we got... Ah! <laughs> Dingle dangles. Alright, so here we are. We got this. He looks awesome, as usual. Like a, he looks like a lotus flower, like when you're opening them. And as you know, that with squids, they come in different. Uh, they do come in different arrays and colors, and some of some of them are luminescence and a lot like giant squids and the colossal squid. A lot of people are still still afraid of these guys, which I can understand because they don't have any bones; they're just all muscle. But they're hugely and vastly intelligent. Just imagine a kraken. Just imagine the size of a kraken. Or some depictions of a leviathan. Now that would be a cool Bakugan to have. A leviathan? Or a Bigfoot? Sasquatch? I would love to have a Sasquatch. As a type of uh, Bakugan. But I love this. I, I love the gold color. I'm not really a big fan of the... Of the yellowish gold. I'm more of a classic fan like this color. And we have the six... <laughs> Yo. Get that 600. Get that 600 B right there on the beginning. Wow. That's... That's what we expect from Aurelis. That's definitely what we expect. And compared to the Chaos one... With... Uh, it seems like we got re-roll. Seems like the stats are definitely changing from that, just by two points up. 4-4, four, four, and a 6-2, with a decrease on the attack, but it has re-roll, so that's pretty, pretty okay. 
But knowing Aurelis, it's going to have that giant boost. And with Cracklios here, got the reroll, the plus four on a magic shield. So definitely have this guy. The, the squids definitely work, definitely work well with each other, don't they? If you got uh, an Aurelis and a Darkest deck, there needs to be more uh, Aurelis um, uh, support. Any There needs to be some more Aurelis support. And with uh, the Platinum Warrior Whale here, uh, this seems like a really good combo to do, actually. Right there. Get that there. It's a great shot. Okay. All right, so let's check out the rolling action. Or let's uh, put them together. All right, so we're gonna put him together. Seems like flap down, flap, nope. Put these two here, these two on the back. Put them down, tuck that in, tuck that in, hold that in, and see these flaps here. They're the shields, so they go up and hold those in place. This goes up, the bottom goes up, and then the sides go down like that, and then this top part locks them all in place. There we go, there he is. Alright, now let's check the rolling action. Okay, let's see, where's the arrow? Can't really see the arrow on the... This one doesn't have an arrow. Interesting. Interesting, this one doesn't... Uh, correctly, this doesn't have an arrow on him. Oh, there it is. There's the arrow. Arrow's right there. Okay, now. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. Bam! Did you get that stand? Look at that stand. Look at that stand, just perfectly still. Uh, seems like he can slide. But he's staying pretty well. If I shake it enough, he's gonna fall down. But he got that 500, so six, uh, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Making him at eleven hundred, so that's a really good one to have. And he has a fist attribute too. Uh, let's see if he can pick up some shields. Let's see if he can. All right, that's a strong magnet. Yo, can he pick up three? No, but he can definitely pick up two. He can definitely pick up two. Alright, so that's going to do it for this, for the last episode of this year's Bakutober. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to check out the merch. I'm happy to see that someone bought an Aquas, and the Aquas Bakugan, uh, uh, A-Line dress. Someone bought the, the A-Line dress, uh, Aquas design that I have on my store on Redbubble. So please, definitely go check that out, and thank you to that person who did. So, this is uh, Velmax Jaker signing off. Happy Halloween. Please be safe out there when you're trick-or-treating and stuff. And yeah, uh, stay awesome.